Good morning, afternoon, evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Welcome back. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in for this, your first time. Hello. Uh, I cover a bunch of Winnipeg Jets news. Uh, mostly just, uh, I cover every game, a lot of signings, and I cover some rumors in between. That's always fun. Um, we got our another departure video here. Um, Carson Kuhlman has signed a one-year deal for $775,000 with the New York Islanders. And it's funny to me, while I wasn't the most high on Carson Kuhlman's uh, play style and skill set and what he brought to the Winnipeg Jets, I can't deny this is a really good match. Like, I think this is probably the best case scenario for Carson Kuhlman. He's previously been on teams like Boston and Seattle where he's had the identity, he's tried to be the identity of tough to play against and good defense. And I feel like the Islanders are just the natural progression of that. He really didn't work on the Winnipeg Jets. He, it helped, it, it did help a little bit that he was at least with a Rick Bonus system and not a Paul Maurice Winnipeg Jets because that systems are a little notoriously better on defense than, um, than Paul Maurice's are. However, at the end of the day, I just didn't see enough from him. He, he didn't have a spark for me, uh, it felt like he was in the roster way too often. He was a waiver claim by the Winnipeg Jets, and it just felt like he never really fully got click clicking. He only had two goals, uh, like 10 points with the Jets, nothing spectacular, and they just didn't know how to use him properly. Um, hoping that maybe he makes the best of it in, the, in on Long Island. I think he'll be fine, actually. I think he'll be a lot better in the, in, in, with the New York Islanders than he will with the Winnipeg Jets, mostly because the Islanders trap system and defensive structure is just better and it leads to a lot more counterattack based offense, which I'm not saying that's necessarily a strong suit of Carson Kuhlman. Carson Kuhlman is not very offensive player. However, if there was going to be a, a system that would allow him to flourish offensively to an extent, that would be it. Honestly, I see him, I, he reminds me a lot of the Riley Nash signing that we had years ago, um, that we that ended up getting claimed on waivers by the Tampa Bay Lightning, like he's he's just a a bottom sixer who does a lot of good defense, and you know what? That's okay. Yeah, good luck, Carson Coleman. Um, we we only got a couple UFAs left uh, for possible departure videos, so these videos are are going to be will be coming less and less frequent. Which I know I've bombarded a lot of videos out here. I'm sorry. It's I gotta. I got to keep up with everything. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. It really does help us out and helps out the channel. It helps us out, helps out the channel, and helps out the video a lot. And don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on Carson Coleman. What were your thoughts on Carson Coleman? Did you like Carson Coleman? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.